welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel, Talking Dog Stitcher, here on YouTube and over on Instagram as well, and this channel is all about cross stitch. I've got a very exciting episode for you today. I've got an unboxing of the Black Needle Society's Saturday Morning Stitching Box. I applied to be a representative of the Black, Black Needle Society a few weeks ago, and I'm so, so proud to be able to say that I was successful, and they've sent me a box to open on my channel and to show all of you. I don't know about any anyone else. I think there are two types of people in this world. There is those children on Christmas morning, like myself, who open everything. Everything out, all the wrapping paper everywhere, and then spend the rest of the day sitting and enjoying and playing with your toys. The other people are the people like my brother, who would open something and then play with it. And enjoy it. And then when he got bored of it, He'd open the next thing. It would be there all day. He enjoyed it. I enjoyed my way. I, I'm i like that whatever. Whether it be Christmas, birthdays, whether it be an exciting parcel arriving in the post, which is what it was today. I, I have to open everything, have a look at it, and then I can sit down and enjoy it. So that's what I've decided to do with my unboxing. I have a point of view filming from earlier today where I opened the box live into the camera and Afterwards, I will sit down and I will talk through all of the information that the Black Needle Society have sent in the box regarding all of the products that are inside. So, here's me from earlier today opening the Black Needle Society Saturday morning stitching box. Okay, you'll have to let me know how you feel about this point of view filming. Let me know down in the comments. In the meantime, I have to confess, the first time that I opened up the box, I forgot to press record, so we're, we're going to pretend that didn't happen and, and have a look at what we've got inside here. I didn't get very far before I'd realised, so there are still some surprises in here. This is how it arrives. As soon as the post person arrived with my box, I knew exactly what it was because you can see Black Needle Society all around the outside. Here we go. Saturday morning stitching. So I'm led to believe that inside here is a list of all of the contents and descriptions. So we'll go through that in a little bit. We'll also have a quick read through the stitch and read in the books of BNS as well. And then this is as far as I got with the uh, first opening. I got the needle minder bag open. So let's have a look at what is in here. Oh, hands up if you recognise what that's from. Some definitely some memories in there. Cute. And like I say, we will go through all of these in detail, the designers and, and all that kind of stuff, after we get a good look at the goodies first. A pair of socks. Oh, they're quite, quite thick and warm. Lovely. Night Stalker's Calling. There's three in here. And have a look at the names. Apologies for the rattling. So we've got Shaggy, Smurfs, and Jane Jetson. Love. Fibre on a Whim, 18 Count Ada, Fat Eighth of Cafe Au Lait. I do love Fibre on a Whim fabrics. Love thing. What's in here? Oh, cute. I don't think I'm going to be able to keep that bowl for very long. I think there's a little man in my house who might steal that. He does love pink. What else have we got in here? Ooh. A bag clip. Cereal starter. Love that. Oh, I need that. Oh. There's not, it's not possible to put that on every project I own. 
I need one on every project I own. Love that. I'm just going to keep saying love that for everything, aren't I? Little cereal spoon. It's really dainty. I think it might be more of a coffee spoon. A little donut on the end. I've been so excited for this. As soon as I heard that... Oh, hang on. I've missed something. It's a little remote. And then... Oh, it slides. Ah, okay. It's got a magnet in it. It must be a needle holder, which... Oh, my days. I need one of those. The number of times I've gone to get into the car and do some travel stitching and I've got everything except a needle. I think you all know just how important a needle is. So I love that. I do love this. Saturday mornings cross stitch pattern by Flossy Fox Shop. Wow, isn't it fab? Look at the little piggy. A couple of cats in there. Might have to change them to black and white to match Oh, I love those. Well, I'm going to have to start that pretty soon. There we go. Right, let's... Let's go and have a closer look at all of the goodies. Okay, hopefully you've seen something in there that you liked. I'm going to go through everything now using the little leaflet that comes in the box. So here is Black Needle Society Saturday Morning Stitching booklet. And inside it details is a little letter from the curators of the box and the details of everything that's inside it. So we're going to go through those now and we'll go in order. So let me see if I can find everything. Okay. First up is the Saturday morning stitching needle minder. There's a very strong magnet on the back there. Artwork by the Black Needle Society. This needle minder screen was inspired by the Looney Tunes intro card, which if you watched the Looney Tunes as a child, as I did, you recognise immediately. It isn't a Saturday morning... Get my words out. This needle minder screen was in inspired by the Looney Tunes intro card, but isn't a Saturday morning stitching show just a fancy name for floss tube? That's all, folks. I love, love, love that. So we're going to... might even start putting these away as we go. That will end up on a uh, on a project before the end of the day, I would wager. Excuse me. Okay, and then there's the thread pack. These are gorgeous. I cannot wait to use these. So, the Saturday cartoon thread pack, which is dyed by Night Stalker's Calling. We asked John and Emily to create a trio of threads inspired by some of your favourite Saturday morning cartoons, Scooby-Doo, The Jetsons and The Smurfs. We can't wait to see how you'll use these nostalgic threads. I mean, they are so, so true to their name, aren't they? So, let's see Shaggy after his shirt, Smurfs blue, and then The Jetsons. I used to love The Jetsons. Wasn't that, wasn't, weren't the Jetsons set in like 2023 or something? I'm going to have to, there'll be a note across the bottom of the screen, I think, because I'm going to have to research that. Um, yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous threads. And they are 10 yard. 10 yard skeins. And there is also the Night Stalkers Calling Etsy shop listed on there. If you see anything that you like as I'm going through the box, I will pop a link below to the Black Needle Society vault. They very kindly given me a 5% off code. Use the code TALKINGDOG5 and get 5% off anything that you buy from the vault. Yeah, if you like anything that you see, keep an eye on it as anything that's left over will be released in there. So the next one is the remote needle case made by the Black Needle Society. Don't change that channel, but maybe change out that needle. Use this remote control inspired needle case to keep track of your extra needles while stitching or to take needles safely when traveling. 
and just slides on and off again with a new with a magnet inside. I don't even have any needles to hand to pop in there. That is brilliant. That's probably going straight in the car with a couple of spare needles. Like I say, it's one of those things that I most frequently forget to take with me. And I absolutely love these. I am a purple girl. I love purple. So these are great. Donut socks curated by the Black Needle Society. Saturdays were extra special when we got to have donuts. But getting donuts means getting up early and walking on cold floors. Keep your toes toasty while you grab your breakfast. These are fab. And they are really cosy, warm feeling socks. So definitely, I work from home. So cosy socks, absolute must. Because some days I don't even put on shoes. <laughs> oh, what am I on about? Right, Hoop Loops cereal bowl designed by the Black Needle Society. Pour yourself a bowl of every stitcher's favourite cereal, Hoop Loops. Maybe all the sugar will kick your stitching into overdrive while you watch your favourite morning cartoons. I've showed this bowl to my son and it has been claimed. I will not be allowed to eat breakfast out of this. But his favourite breakfast is Cheerios. So, Loops, Hoops, perfect. It's quite a heavy one as well. And I'm, I'm so impressed with the packing because this has made it all the way across the Atlantic from the USA in perfect condition. Next up is the donut spoon, curated by the Black Needle Society. We couldn't send a cereal bowl without sending a spoon to eat your cereal with. Again, been claimed. Which is probably for the best because it is it's quite a small spoon. So uh yeah, my little boy is is all over it, loves it. Fab. Clink while it goes in the bowl. Okay, now excuse the rustling, I'm going to take this out of the bag. This is the Cafe Ole fabric by Fibre on a Whim. Once again, I'll, I'll show you the cards, so fat eight. Your morning breakfast isn't complete without a cup of coffee to wake you up, though we definitely didn't get to have this as a kid on Saturday mornings. We love this coffee-inspired colour from Fibre on a Whim's standard fabric line. It's a fantastic neutral, and we think it might be perfect for our pattern this month. I do love stitching on Fibre on a Whim. I've not had any cafe au lait, actually. Milk and honey, I do love that one, and this one. Yeah, it's lovely. A little bit darker than the milk and honey, but really lovely. And I think I will stitch the pattern on it. Which is the last bit. I was so excited, like I said earlier, to see this. Saturday mornings, designed by Flossy Fox Shop. We are excited to work with a new to the box designer for this month's pattern. We've been following Andrea over on Instagram for quite some time, me too. And when we came up with the idea to do this theme, she was the only designer we wanted to create a design for it. We love her use of colour, and she even tucked some references into this pattern from favourite Saturday morning cartoons and characters, including Kermit and Miss Piggy, the Ninja Turtles, Garfield, Bugs Bunny, Beauty and the Beast, Tom and Jerry, Pokemon and Totoro. Can you spot them all? Now, I can see Pokemon, obviously, and then the rest, I'm assuming we've got Miss Piggy, uh, Jerry, Tom and Jerry, Kermit, perhaps, Totoro, I'm assuming Ninja Turtles, and the, the pizza as well, Ninja Turtles, um, Garfield, Although I don't see any lasagna. Um, presumably that will be Tom to Jerry, although he, not quite the right colour. But And then Bugs Bunny with his carrot, I suppose. Now, Beauty and the Beast. 
Not sure. Not sure on that one. Possibly the, the flower. But that, that is a brilliant pattern. Definitely, definitely on the to stitch list. 26 colours. 146 by 86. And what count is our fabric? 16 count. So 9.1 by 5.4 inches we do it on the uh, on the provided fabric and then the pattern is the whole the whole width so it's a it is really big color pattern gorgeous I'm looking forward to looking forward to doing it I'm just looking at it and thinking maybe maybe that's lasagna for Garfield who knows so all that's left is to say, oh my gosh, I missed something. I've just come back to the leaflet and found something else hiding in the box. You've already seen it in my in my point of view um, unboxing, but it was it was there at the bottom of the box. I skipped it because I can't apparently read everything in in, in, this, in an order. This is the Serial Starter Zipper Pull designed by the Black Needle Society. Are you a serial starter? Have you watched my floss tube? Yes, yes I am. We created the perf perfect cereal box inspired zipper pull for you to put on your next project you want to start. And it says, Black Needles Cereal Starter, per serving, 41 stitches, two, my eyesight's not good enough for this, two frogs. No frogs here, thank you. 41 stitches, two frogs, and 98 calories. Yeah. I love that so, so much. I need to figure out which of my many, many, many project bags that needs to go on. <laughs> because I am a serial starter, and there are plenty of them. Right, that is actually all that's inside the box. So that was Saturday Morning Stitching by the Black Needle Society. I do want to quickly address the, the back, stitch and read. Want something to read to go along with your new Saturday morning stitching box? We recommend checking out these titles. And there is um, Mr. Magic by Kirsten White, Opposite of Always by Justin A. Reynolds, and then Books with BNS. I didn't realise this, but the, the Black Needle Society have a Facebook group, which is like a reading book club. Join us in the Books for BNS Facebook group on April 6th to discuss our newest book of the month, Mother Daughter Murder Night by Nina Simon. So I definitely have to go and, and join that. And then I also want to read out this because this, this just got me really excited. So currently available, get ready to stitch in the starlight. Our July box is all about stars, the celestial kind, not the Hollywood kind. You'll be inspired to stitch late into the night to enjoy their shine. We are thrilled to have Janine McGowan of The Blue Flower as our featured designer in this month's box. Hello. We can't wait for you to see her unique take on this theme. Each box in our subscription service will ship between the 10th to the 16th of the month and May boxes will remain on sale until May 9th or until we sell out. Thank you so much, Black Needle Society, for sending this to me. I can't wait to see the next one. And I'm gonna I'm gonna start kitting up a cross stitch pa pattern. I'll see you all next time. Thanks very much. Bye!